Stay tuned to find out why a former practitioner of acupuncture left her practice, which had provided 95% of her income. My name is Jason Bradley, and you're watching Urban Report. Hello and welcome to Urban Report. My guest today is no stranger to the Dare to Dream Network. In fact, she is the founder and consultant for Dare to Dream. She's also a retired diplomate of oriental medicine as well as a doctor of naturopathic medicine. But my favorite title for her is my mom. <laughs> welcome to Urban Report, mom. Thank you, Jay. It's good to have you here. Of course, you've been on Urban Report. <laughs> you host this program a, a, a lot of times. Yeah. Um, and and now you're sitting in the guest seat. I know, it's a little weird to be on this side, you know yes. what I mean? Like usually I'm on that side or with you on that side, mm -hmm. and now I'm sitting over here by myself, which is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, which I'm not too far away. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's right, right, that's right. So what made you decide to come on and do this program today? You know, Jay, ever since I, I came to 3ABN and talked about my journey with acupuncture and all that, um, Several people have called in, they've asked, should I go to an acupuncturist, and, or, or is there anything wrong with it, what's wrong with it? And I feel like God has been moving on me to, to really explain mm -hmm. what's wrong with it. Mm -hmm. And I think that he allowed me to learn from the inside, you know, to take the classes and learn what it's all about. Mm -hmm so that I could share it and use this platform to do so, so we can reach a lot of people and explain just what is wrong with it, mm -hmm. why, you know, why there are issues with it. And so yeah. that's why I decided to do this program because I think there's so many people who need to know. And also out of love for my, um, my other practitioners who were Christian, mm -hmm. um, I haven't really talked to them about it and I really think that this, using this platform to share this information will be enlightening to them as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing this in love and concern and, um, and the desire to share what is really behind mm -hmm. um, traditional Chinese medicine. Okay. Now, in the beginning we alluded, or I alluded to the fact that uh, you gave up your practice that com it made up 95% of your income. Yes. Uh, why? <laughs> you know, Jay, I guess when you get to be my age, you, you, you have seen how God has led you. And if God lets you know that you're supposed to do something or not supposed to do something, then you also know that he's going to provide for you. So when I realized where I, what I was doing as far as the acupuncture was concerned, and mm -hmm. you know, we'll explain that later, but when I realized that God was telling me to come out of it, then I knew that he was gonna take care of me mm -hmm. because all along throughout my whole life, He's taken care of me. Amen. Whenever there's been any situation, anything, any need, God has always provided. So I knew mm -hmm. that based on my history with God, mm -hmm. that he was going to come through again. So yes, it was a big move because it was 95% of my income. Yeah. But I also knew that if I didn't obey him, that I could lose my salvation mm. because I had because I would be in willful disobedience. I knew he was telling me to come out of it, and so that's what I did. And he gave me anything, any good thing in us comes from him. Mm -hmm. So he gave me the strength to come out of it. Mm -hmm. So I've just praised him for that, because I ended up being here anyway. Yeah, so, <laughs> yes, yes. So that was a blessing. Yes, now I've known you my whole life. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, you have been a life time student, <laughs> lifetime student. I mean, every time I turned around, you were in school for something else. I know. I wouldn't be surprised if you got back in the school. Oh my goodness. How did you get involved with alternative medicine? 
Well, okay, so I was uh, singing professionally and, um, and I had sung at a camp meeting mm -hmm. and a lady just walked up to me and she gave me a little booklet and she said, I just feel impressed to give this to you. So she gave me the booklet and I said, thank you. You know, people give you things all the time. Mm -hmm. So I said, thank you so much. And I took it home and I, um, actually I put it in a drawer. I didn't even look at it really. Mm -hmm. And then several months, it was months later and I opened that drawer and I saw this booklet and it was on the deleterious effects of sugar on the body. And well, this, sound, this <laughs> sounds like how you got into alternative ingredients. Because we used to go to the store and you would pick, I knew that if you picked up a box of cereal or if you picked up any, anything that I wanted to take home and, and eat, you were going to put it back and find an alternative. I know, because I was reading the ingredients, yeah, right? Yeah. Always read the ingredients so you know what you're getting. So uh, this booklet mm -hmm. had information about sugar and what it does to the body. And I thought, wow. And I just began to, to read. Mm -hmm. So you know how I love to read. So I just began to study. And it's like the Lord put this passion for um, natural health into my, my being. And so I studied it. And then I began to take classes, you know, mm -hmm. like being in school. Yep. And so I started taking classes. So I ended up, um, I took naturopathic medicine, of course. I took, I became a massage therapist. I studied iridology, a lot of new age kinds of things, but it was a gradual thing. Um, um, massage therapy, aromatherapy, reflexology, reflexology iridology, mm -hmm. um, and I became certified in a lot of these different modalities. And it's interesting because there were some modalities that I recognized right off the bat, whoop, stay away from that, mm -hmm. because like Reiki. Mm. Reiki is a, it's a modality that you should not go near, it's spiritualism. What is, what is it? Reiki is a form of massage. Mm -hmm. So the, the um, therapist actually, they go through a training, mm -hmm. and at the end of the training, there's a, 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 a ceremony called the attunement, in which the trainer kind of says this kind of chant over people, and I've actually heard Reiki practitioners say they felt something come into them Whoa. at the attunement, at the ceremony, at the end of their training. And they, they are, it's supposed to be a healing thing where the, the energy, the healing energy comes into the hands and the hands are very hot. And you also don't even have to necessarily touch the um, client. Whoa. You can, your hands can just go over them and the energy is transferred from you to them. Well, when I heard that, I was like, mm, yeah, no, that's a huge red flag. no, I think that's, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a red flag. I'm not going to deal with that. But there, there are things like massage therapy is fine. But then when you get off into some of these alternative, um, modalities that are part of them, like, like you use massage mm -hmm. in Reiki, you use massage, but it's got this whole spiritualistic aspect mm -hmm. to it. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't deal with that at all. But there were other things that I did do that I thought were okay. Because one of the things that Satan does is just gives you just a little bit. Everything else is fine. But there might just be a little something that you kind of think, mm, I don't know about that, mm -hmm. but everything else is fine. Mm -hmm you have to be really careful. You know, 1 Timothy 4, let me read this, because mm -hmm. this, this is from the um, English Standard Version, and it says, now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Mm. And that's what is happening now. Mm -hmm. We're getting, as a church, many members of the churches are going to acupuncturists are going to take yoga. Mm -hmm. They have no idea that yoga is connected to Hinduism. You can't separate yoga from Hinduism. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the things that 
you have to be aware of because Satan is coming in the back door. Yeah. He's good at that. Yeah. He comes in the back door and it seems like it's fine. It's just stretching. Yeah, that's what I hear people say. Right? Mm -hmm. It's just stretching. It's just, no, it's stretching, breathing, meditation, mm -hmm. and it's not meditation on the word. It's emptying your mind, but that's another whole different uh, subject. Uh, uh -huh. These are the ways that the enemy is using to get in to hurt people. Did you have any red flags about TCM or traditional Chinese medicine? I did. I did. Okay, so when I first went to the school, it was the Dallas College of Oriental Medicine. Mm -hmm. And um, and I, when I first went there for the open house, the gentleman who was conducting the open house um, said that, um, he was just talking about acupuncture and Chinese medicine and all. So I asked him, is this connected to Eastern religion? Because I knew that if he said yes, that I couldn't do it. You know, in other words, you have to be a practitioner of Eastern medicine uh, okay. to do this. That's what I was thinking. So he said, no, no, there are some elements of Taoism mm. in it. Taoism, it's T A. I, but it's pronounced D, so oh, it's Taoism. Wow. Mm -hmm. So Taoism is central to TSM, uh, to TCM. Mm -hmm. um, but it was like when when he was talking about it, it was as though it wasn't really that much a part of it. So I thought, okay. So that should have been red flag number mm. one at the open mm. house. It's got elements of another religion in it. Mm -hmm. But I thought, well, if you don't have to be that religion in order to do it, then I'll do it. Because I really wanted to um, have some clinical experience. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, I went into that, because I was going to get clinical supervision and experience and that kind of thing. So. Um, that's why I decided to do that. So that was red flag number one. Then also I took a class called Jenshin. And uh, with Jenshin, you just kind of put your hand under certain points on the client's body and you can just sit there, but things get released in them. And in the book, the book, the foreword of the book said that the information in this book was given to the author by a spirit guide. Wow. So I said, a spirit guide? I, oh, no, 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 no. So I went to the head of the school and I said, I'm a Christian. This, this was given by a spirit guide. So somehow he, he rationalized yeah, and reasoned and, his way exactly. out. Exactly. Uh, and I wanted that uh -huh. because I really didn't want to like stop it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I knew that I couldn't just keep up with that whole spirit guide thing. So, so that's another thing. You know, we have to be willing, and I'm, I'm talking about me. Mm -hmm. We have to be willing as God is letting us know things. We have to be willing to walk away from those things. Mm -hmm. um, it's for our own good. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah, those were two of the signs. But the first, the first thing that, well, I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you about that later because um, there is spiritualism involved too. Mm -hmm. But those were the first signs that, some of the first signs of, you know, red flags that I really should yeah. take a look at what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. There's also a point uh, called the Shen Men. Why don't you talk oh. about what that means? Okay, so this is the point of, called the Shen Men. Mm -hmm. And when I would needle that point, people on my table, this is after I went through school and got board certified and all that and was practicing. I practiced for about four or five years, um, mm -hmm. acupuncture. Mm -hmm. And um, I would do a particular protocol on people who would come in with stress. Mm -hmm. And um, you just, you know, put the needles in, put nice music. I even prayed over my patients to the Lord, which is just, 
Now, in retrospect, I'm like, what in the <laughs> world? The Lord, oh, the Lord is so merciful. But anyway, mm -hmm. I even prayed over patients because I was thinking that I am not practicing Eastern religion. I am mm -hmm. a Christian. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just asking the Lord to help this treatment or whatever, which is a little bit wonky right now. So uh, they would lie on the table and I would do this particular protocol with the needles. And when I'd come back, like they could come in super stressed out mm -hmm. and just like, and when I would come back, they would be relaxed. They'd say that they saw, sometimes they would see a pattern of colors wow. going in a, in a pattern around them, or they would kind of sense the energy moving and flowing. Now, I'm now that's thinking, weird. That sounds like LSD. Or <laughs> that's, that is strange. It, well, you know, really, I should have known better. Mm -hmm. I should have known better. But again, you know, you you close your eyes to things. So I was thinking, well, this is just energy. Mm -hmm. You know, this is energy moving and. People are relaxed, and so that's great. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was just totally, I was just so totally off base. And I, I'm just so thankful that God showed me mm -hmm. what it was about. So the Shen Men is the spirit gate. That's what it means. Wow. Spirit gate. Wow. Now, what's a gate? An entrance. And an exit. Way. And yes. Yeah. So things can come in mm -hmm. and things can go out. So what would you say to the, you know, people at home? Because I, I often hear this too. Well, it, it works though. Mm. It, it works. Well, what would you say to that person? You know, I, I once said that myself. I said that um, to a friend of mine who was, who was a physician, a really dear friend, and he was trying to let me know that acupuncture was not the way to go as a Christian. And he said, I don't doubt that it works, mm -hmm. but what's the power behind it? Mm -hmm. You remember when Moses was um, going to Pharaoh, uh -huh. and he threw his rod down, and it became a snake? Yep. And the magicians did the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, they there are certain things that Satan can do, mm -hmm. but Moses, the power behind Moses was of course God, mm -hmm. and the power behind the magicians was the enemy. Mm -hmm. So he can mimic certain things. He can make you think that his way is working, but the, what is the power behind it? That's mm -hmm. what you have to ask yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you left, you left your practice. Mm -hmm. You ended up going to 3ABN, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. or, or did you still have your practice while you went to 3ABN and did an interview? No, well, no, I stopped my practice before I came to 3ABN. I stopped practicing acupuncture mm -hmm. in 2009. No, uh, once I knew what it was, and I need to tell you what it is, just what, mm -hmm. what's wrong with it. Yes. There are two things that you have to think about when you're thinking about dealing with acupuncture. The first is Taoism. Mm -hmm. It's based on Taoism, which is a pantheistic religion. Taoism believes that um, the, the, everything flows in nature. Everything flows because of the Tao. The Tao is the orient, origin of the universe and it keeps things in order. It's the way. That's the Tao. There's no omnipotent being that is in the heavens, according to Taoism. Mm -hmm. And it has elements of spiritualism. Man can become immortal. Man can become deity. Mm -hmm. You know, and so those are some of the things that you have to look at the root. Mm -hmm. What's the root of acupuncture mm -hmm. and traditional Chinese medicine? Taoism, and Taoism is an old Eastern religion. It's like over 2,500 years old, and um, it its focus is on um, balance. Hmm. So everything should be in balance. Like yin and the yin, yin and yang. Yin and yang. Mm -hmm. Yin and yang. We actually have yeah, we have a, a graphic of that. We do. 
and that's an important symbol. If you look at it, and that's one of the um, main tenets of traditional Chinese medicine, one of the foundational um, principles and beliefs in TCM mm -hmm. is the idea of yin and yang. If you notice, there is white in the black and black in the white. Mm -hmm. This signifies that there is yin in yang mm -hmm. and there is yang in yin. People say yang, do not say yang. Yeah. It's yang. That's, that's why I let you go ahead and say it. <laughs> it's yin and yang. Uh -huh. um, they are, um, the idea is that there's harmony in opposites. They're actually not so much opposite as complementary and inter interdependent. So mm -hmm. there's heat and cold, mm -hmm. there's night and day, there's good and evil. Hmm. Now, let's just look at that. Mm -hmm. Night turns into day, mm -hmm. so they're kind of, they kind of roll into each other. Mm -hmm. You balance heat and cold, too much cold, out of balance, too much heat, out of balance. Mm -hmm. But good and evil, is there evil in God? No, none. Right. Yeah. And that scripture, let's look at that scripture because uh, it's in 1 John. Mm -hmm. I have been, I think we, let's see, just because I, I really want to yeah, share that. Yeah, it's amazing that. how the Bible um, provides so much information that applies to today. Is it 1 John 1, 5? It is. Okay. It is. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. This is the message which we have heard from him and declare to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. Mm -hmm. This really, this really contradicts yin and yang. Yeah. Because there's no evil in God. There's no darkness in God. Mm -hmm. In him is light. He is perfection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So there is that. So that's, that's one thing. The other thing, um, the other negative thing with TCM and, and what's going on with that is astrology. Hmm. I never knew that there were astrological relationships in acupuncture. I just didn't, in the TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, I just didn't put two and two together. So when you talk about um, and I, I have um, another graphic that I want to share. It's, a, um, it's the five element chart. Mm. The five elements and yin and yang are the basis mm -hmm. of TCM theory. Mm -hmm. The five elements, and if you look at it, it's wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Those are the mm. five elements. Well, that just sounds like, you know, there's nothing to really think about, but... Mm -hmm. It's related to the planets. So each of those elements has a planet. So water has Mercury, wood um, has Jupiter, fire has Mars, Earth has Saturn, and metal, Venus. So these five elements mm. represent five different qualities of natural phenomena. So it's all hooked into the planets, mm -hmm. the sun, let me go. Let me let me go back to the way the body is laid out mm -hmm. according to TCM. So there are twelve primary meridians through which your body's vital energy or chi passes through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that sounds like okay. I can do with that. <laughs> uh huh. But and there are three hundred sixty-one points basically in which these. Um, these meridians interconnect. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So there are 365 days in the year, right? Uh -huh. There are 12 houses of the zodiac. So all of this. So like zodiac is, signs and exactly. all of that stuff. So think uh -huh. about it earth signs, water signs, uh -huh. fire signs. That's interesting. It's all connected uh -huh. to this the whole TCM model. I was wondering why when I was in school, we had one of our professors did astrological charts for people. Hmm. And I wasn't really thinking that 
Yeah, I just thought that's just what he did. I didn't know mm -hmm. that it was connected. They didn't teach it like that. Mm -hmm. Had they taught it like that, I would have left. Yes. But they, they really didn't. So I, I didn't know that. But um, I want to sum this up for you. And I have to read a statement okay. from a, um, it was an article online. It was a thing that really woke me up. And after you read that, I want to let people know how they can get this booklet. Okay, uh, okay. What's wrong with that? Okay, picture. great. Mm -hmm. He says, in sum, this is the writer of this article um, on astrology. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called Acupuncture Astrology with Needles. So if you Google that, you can find it. The, the author says, in sum, there are 361 points the same as the number of degrees in a sidereal day along 12 meridians, the number of zodiacs, which are named after the hour angle of the sun, Taiyang, Yang Ming. These are terms that describe the hour angle in which five points are named after the planets, water, wood, etc. Those are the names of the five planets. Now, Anyone that is not willfully ignorant, like most advocates of traditional acupuncture in the U.S., will immediately see that it was modeled after astrology and sun mythology. Mm. And according to the episteme of as above, so below. So uh, just like European bloodletting was, Chinese acupuncture could therefore be accurately described as astrology with needles. Wow. And wow. that's why I left. And there's so much more mm -hmm. because astrology is a form of divination and divination is expressly forbidden in the word. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I want to share these scriptures just so you look up Isaiah 47, 13 to 15 and Leviticus 19, 26 mm -hmm. and Deuteronomy 18, 9 to 13. That Deuteronomy one's the divination and soothsayers. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. exactly. We've been forbidden to do this. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you, know you see a lot of people checking their signs, their zodiac signs and all of that, uh, like fortune telling type. Exactly. Yeah. That was one of the things that I used to do when I was out of the church. I mm -hmm. used to read a lot about uh, um, ast astrology and all that. Uh, zodiac signs. Yes, yes. Well, praise Thank the you, Lord, Lord for coming into new life. Amen. And, Thank you, uh, Jesus. We have uh, your booklet, What's mm -hmm. Wrong with Acupuncture? And people can get that by calling our call center at 618-627-4651. Press the number two when you hear the automated message. We're open Monday through Thursday from 7.30 to 5.30 p.m. Central Time. Uh, so give us a call and, and check out this booklet. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you, thank you, Jay. And thank you for joining us. Well, we've reached the end of another pro program. Join us next time. Remember, it just wouldn't be the same without you.